What's up Couch Crew? Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Today we got a very special video. We got a package here from the one and only Brian Hooper. He sent some stuff to add to my collection and uh, from what I hear, it's a very good package. So let's just get into this video and open it up because I'm very, very excited about this package. All right, let's cut this bad boy open and see what we got. All right, so we got a whole nother package in here. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. Alright, Brian, you secure these packages very nicely, my friend. Make sure that these things don't get damaged at all. Oh man, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Check this out. Oh my gosh, look, he sent me a book, 1909 to 1940. And this book has key dates, semi-key dates in it. Oh my gosh, look at that. He actually sent the 1909S, I believe, which I'm about to take out of this book over here and put in here. That is absolute. Look at this thing, guys. He said you will only be missing four once you get this book. Oh my gosh. Brian Hooper, you're the man. Thank you so much. I know Brian likes a lot of like uh, very nice looking coins and stuff, but I honestly really don't care. As long as I fill up my books, like that's my goal just as a collector. I don't know, maybe I'll get more into like higher graded coins eventually, but uh, they are pretty pricey. So I stick with just, you know, circulated coins like this, but wow, look at that. We're only missing 14D, 09S, and then we got the S that we're about to put in here. And then of course the uh, 22D, with no mint mark. If you guys find the 1922D with no mint mark, whoo, you better uh, you better hold on to that one. All right, so 1931S, wow, man. This is amazing, Brian. Thank you so much for this, man. That is awesome. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take the ones, not out of that, that's 1975. I'll take the ones out of the 1909 to 1940, and then I also got that 1909S, which I'm about to show you in just one second. But what I like about this book is that it's got the plastic sleeves. You pull out the plastic sleeves right there, put your coin in, and bam. That's awesome. That will keep the coins very protected. All right, so let's find that 1909S. Look at that, look at those coins that Brian sent me before, man. It's crazy, 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 crazy. Look at those proof quarters, baby. Those things are nice. There's a the proof. Those things are nice, nice, nice. There's my uh, 1865 two cent piece. Couple large cents from 1820 and 1827. All right, where's that penny? Oh yeah, Brian Hooper sent this too. Look at that, 1945. Look how good a shape that is in. And he sent some key date, Jefferson Nichols and all that stuff. But let's find that penny. There's that gold, baby. There's that gold. That's a Canadian gold. All right, where's that penny? There it is. 1909s baby we're about to put it in the book that is awesome man and then check this out he's got the uh 1909 vdb in there too so we'll see which one looks better that's a 1939 someone sent thank you for sending that i forget who sent that one if you guys haven't seen my whole coin collection make sure you guys go check it out i got a video a couple videos on my channel where i updated it one time here is that uh that penny i found in a coin roll boom 1982 baby of course we got the old money the old money Boom, boom. All right, Brian Hooper, thank you so much, man. I can't thank you enough for that. That is like, that's a lot of money, guys. If you guys don't know, those uh, semi-key dates are not cheap at all, and key dates are not cheap. So give a big thumbs up for Brian, and let Brian know in the comments below how awesome he is. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video, because this is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.